Okay, for our members, this is a little short segment on trailering your horse and trailer tying once you get to your destination. Um, you know, a zip line, if you're going to be, or not a zip line, a high line is awfully nice. If you have the trees around and you're going to be there for a couple days, but if you're only going to be a day or so and you have to trailer tie and you don't have the fancy high arm that comes out, this is just a very basic thing. Um, if we had to do a tie line, we could go from the high line, I mean, we could go from like this tree, protecting the tree with some kind of wrap before you put the road, rope around it, up to a high point on the trailer. We put these extra uh, aluminum U-bolts uh, on the trailer after we got it. Um, and uh, you want that line high enough to where the horse can't step over it and get in trouble. But for seasoned veterans like Angelo here, uh, let's just talk about the knot and the water bucket and how to keep this horse out of trouble. Now, if we knew he was a troublemaker and always going to be, um, you know, having a piece of sponge rubber around him, wake up in the morning and you find him swallowing half of it, uh, you would take all kinds of precautions. You would have partitions that you would cut out either out of plywood or something on these wheels so he couldn't get cast under them. Uh, you would do all kinds of things, but he is a pro. He doesn't get hurt. So the main thing we want to do is take care of the obvious things. We want that water bucket to hang low enough that he can get to it easily. And if it's flat on one end, we want the flat end against the trailer. We want the knots so that they are these continuous loop knots, which are wonderfully easy to do. It's nothing more than a slip knot, repeated and repeated. But the important thing is to have this last loop go through here. Carrie, okay. if you demonstrate just that ending, just the ending for now. See how that loop goes through? That way he doesn't pull it and undo it. If he pulls it, he just tightens it. Now undo that, Carrie, and pull it. In emergency, see how quickly she can get this done? Just pull. Pull. No, no, no. Sorry, I have to do Sorry. this. She's, she's not the groom, Mike. There it is. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's how the knot's folded. It's really simple. It goes under. Under. Loop, loop it. Loop. loop it. Loop. Put the loop through again and repeat. Then I did it twice. And then the end at the end. So now pull it, Carrie, so you can see if a horse pulls on that. It, now let's try it again with following directions. <laughs> Tie the knife knot again so they can see it, Carrie. <laughs> She's so used to being right. You can tell who's done all the work over the years here. Okay, again, she pulls the loop through. One more time. And then the end through. And then what we want to demonstrate here, Carrie, is so often the horse could tug on that end, as we've seen happen, and he's gone in the morning. So he tugs all he wants there, and he's doing nothing but tightening. Now, when we come out, and if he's cast himself at night, or there's an emergency, or we just want to unloosen, show how we do it. We just take the end, do it slowly, take the end out, and pull. And boom, he's free. The vet can get to him, or we can go out for our ride. Very nice little tip to have for when you're trailing your horse, if you want to look like a pro, but more importantly, be safe. Consideration for the horse is really important. Here we have a bucket for Peter or for Peterbilt, who's Angelo's buddy, riding buddy. And as you can see, we've hung it a little lower. He's about half Angelo's size. He's a, P a Percheron and a Welch pony. So it's easier for him to bend down and get his water by hanging it six inches or so lower. Now that's simply done by, if you can see these series of knots, in the bailing wire. So there's three different positions in height, three different positions in height we could hang this if we wanted to. And you could obviously do more. Uh, very, very simple, but once again, you don't want him to get his foot in the bucket, uh, but you want to keep it um, uh, low enough that he can drink without having to arch his head too much and restricting his flow. Very, very important. Remember, these guys are working. Keep the salt available. I like to keep it in the hay. 
Um, so you're always worried about their electrolytes. You want to make sure they're taking in enough water. Monitor their water intake. If they're not getting enough, make sure they're getting the salt. So always have this cheap piece of salt with you. That's about it. A couple tips for trailer tying, keeping yourself safe. If you got jail bar windows or doors, make sure they're shut. Otherwise, horses can get their lead ropes caught in those hinges and tear them off and you got a rodeo. So, it's all simple, it can be done safely. Just follow this basic advice. Have a good time and thanks so much for being a member of ACTA and supporting our mission, which is as many horses uh, safely employed uh, for as many years of their life as possible.